we're back, baby, and you know who else is back? The Warriors. They smoked the Eels 46 to 10, including this screaming of Dallin Watini Zelezniak. And he actually took out the cameraman, and here are the photos from that cameraman. He picks up the camera, it's beautiful stuff, and if you're worried about the photographer's well-being, well don't, because commentator Daryl Halligan had the update. The, the cameraman that uh, Dallin Watini Zelezniak knocked over, he only came out with a black eye, so he's OK as well. <laughs> yeah, if I ever see a cameraman here at the project with an injury, I just know that uh, old Corbett must have hey. been looked into the eye directly by that cameraman. <laughs> That's correct. Now we go from rugby league to rugby union. The Black Ferns won in Canada and the All Blacks won in Argentina, tripping them over 41 to 12. And it's World Cup year, so there's a lot of pressure on the team. Luckily, coach Ian Foster is up to the task. Check out his eloquent and well-reasoned answer to a question about Damian McKenzie. Your assessment of Damian McKenzie at 10? Good. <laughs> yeah, good. That is the answer of a man who no longer gives a shit. <laughs> Finally, Wimbledon's underway, and one of the big surprises was Russian 16-year-old Mira Andreeva beating Anastasia Potapova. Here we have a lovely rally. If you know your tennis, this should be a winner. No, it definitely isn't. Oh. I know, some surprises on court, but there was also some surprises in the crowd. Check out this warning from the chair umpire to the rowdy, uncouth tennis goers. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you are opening a bottle of champagne, don't do it as a player of your pubs. Yeah, later here to stop the match entirely and tell the people in the bathroom to stop loudly sniffing. <laughs> <laughs>